After our third or fourth pumpkin product review each year, you'll start to see my scores drop dramatically from that first pumpkin product of the season. There are a couple reasons I can think of for this phenomenon. First, I think we seek out the most buzzed about products first, and they tend to be the ones that taste the best. Second, I think our standard for pumpkin products goes up after having a few stellar pumpkin desserts and tasty pumpkin brews. And the third and least likely reason is that we might actually get just a little sick of pumpkin and or pumpkin spices. But then there are products that, in my opinion, are simply not great. This happens to be one of them. I really don't think my mediocre score for this product is due to any of the reasons listed in the previous paragraph. I really just think they tasted kind of weird. They certainly tasted like pumpkin spice, but the flavor struck me as being fake, even though the ingredients do actually list pumpkin puree. The taste wasn't intolerable, it was just a little off, and not at all like the flavor of other JoJo's. And I certainly couldn't feature myself snacking on these things at all if it weren't for being fall and them being so seasonal and festive and all. And that brings me to my next point. Sonia really liked them. She insists that they tasted great and that they had the most intense pumpkin flavor of anything we've looked at so far. But Sonia is a brilliant graphic designer. Is it possible her opinion was heavily influenced by the cute creative packaging of the product? I say yes. She also swears by the combo of these cookies and pumpkin flavored coffee. Eh, she's not wrong there. The earthy essences in a good cup of java toned down the unusual pumpkin tasticality of the cookies. My score would have been much lower had I not tried these things with coffee. And I must admit, these cookies had a nice texture. They felt fresh and had a nice sandwich cookie feel to them. They weren't at all stale or stiff. So even though these cookies weren't really my thing flavor-wise, I think they're worthy of at least three stars. Sonia's gonna go with a solid four. Bottom line, seven out of 10. Not bad.